It's 11... <laughs> yeah. 11.40 a.m. Uh, we have our second load of clothes in the wash. First load is hanging up to dry. We are on a round trip here. We're going to go to Alt Ober Ursula Return Bottle, see if they have a seasonal beer ready, buy one. We're going to go to the World Beer Store in Darmstadt, take a look around, maybe buy a Saison. I've had a couple beer reviews on that. I'm curious what the Saison tastes like. Then we'll go to Rüsselsheim and uh, pick up uh, whatever they have uh, to go and do a in-house, our house, in-house uh, review of the Rüsselsheim uh, Brow House beers. Actually, they're called the Dasa Brow House. Uh, and then we'll come back home and finish our laundry and also finish up the video that I'm creating on uh, my morning routine. So there we have it. I'll see you in Ober Ursel. We're in Ober Ursel. See if I can get some beer. See if they got a seasonal beer I can get. I'm back for more beer. What's your seasonal beer? Um, we have got Midnight Beer, Helles, and uh, Kofa Beer. Okay. Uh, Kofa Beer is um, brown beer, dark beer, mm -hmm. but not so heavy. Uh, let me get uh, the, what, what, what? the Moonfus, you said? And yes. And what was the... Uh, not the Hellas, but the other one? Um, Kupfer beer. It's uh, dark beer. Okay, and what was it? Uh, the Midnight beer. Midnight beer. Hmm. Okay, yeah. Uh, Kupfer like the metal. So uh, that's the color of the beer is uh, like Kupfer. Mm -hmm. And you can see it, it's a car. Oh, okay. KP is the Kupfer beer. That's uh, Mitternacht's beer, Midnight beer. Hmm. Okay. Um, because it's uh, brewed at midnight and we've got a brewer special so you can visit around to the brewery and take a look at uh -huh. the beer. I have to do that someday. Yes. It's uh, yeah. interesting. So, um, if you like, I give you the calendar. Oh, okay. So, uh, we've got our seasonal beers that's uh -huh. not we have got if the beer is out right, we do right. the next one and sometimes uh, we have maybe some maybe early or early late, late. Okay, sure. uh, and now we've got this one oh ok and then and we'll next month you'll have the American Mad beer. beer like Bock beer mm -hmm. and Helles okay. uh, mm -hmm. cool. um, we've got the Helles in Frankfurt Naive um, it's near the, the old bridge in Frankfurt. It's another restaurant. They have their own house beer, uh, Keller beer and dark beer. Mm. And they've got nice food because it's around where I live uh -huh. in Frankfurt. It's really good. They've got good beer too. And I think they've got a little craft beer store uh, like this one. Okay. Schön. Bye bye. Schönen Tag. So we ended up picking six bottles, two from here and two from other brow houses. So from here we'll go to the World Beer Store just to do a look around. I've skipped the uh, World Beer Store. Um, it was an hour and ten minutes from where I was just to get to there. And there's gonna be another hour or maybe more just to get back to Russell's time. 
So to get a one saison, that's just very inefficient. I, I got plenty of beer to try. I can try a saison later. I'll see if they got one in the uh, Globus or in uh, the Gatranka market when I go there for my Kustritz or Schwartz beer. So now I'm heading to Rüsselsheim to pick up uh, uh, whatever they have to, to go. Plus I think I'm going to go ahead and have lunch there. I haven't had a regular lunch in two weeks, so I think I'm due. So I'll see you in Rüsselsheim. This place is uh, really hopping. We have people inside, outside, both rooms. Pretty good business. A lot of people ordering uh, schnitzel. That seems to be one of the main entries uh, food. food. They've also got salads and stuff like that. Burgers. I see they got the hellas and the dunkel that I can take with me. I don't know. It looks like they've also got an IPA, Bach beer, but I don't. I don't see any in the refrigerator, so I don't know if I'll be able to take one to go or not. I'm going to go ahead and eat first, and then after I eat, I'll go to the car and pick up uh, the two empty bottles, bring those back in, and uh, exchange those for some fresh bottles of beer. And then I think we've done enough beer shopping for one day. So right now I've got uh, six liters in the car uh, from the, the last place, plus uh, at least two liters there. That's Plenty of beer for the next couple of weeks for me to drink. So that's what, eight beers? That's what, like uh, almost two months worth of videos. So. And then we got the uh, beer festival next weekend. So I'll pick up some more beer. So we'll have plenty in the pipeline. We may have to do two a week. We'll see. I guess you can say I ran out of energy today, so I've got to reshoot part of the uh, my morning routine video tomorrow morning. I was not recording <laughs> part of the time I thought I was recording, so I've got to re uh, reshoot me making breakfast. And I ran out of juice this afternoon, as far as my energy goes, so. Can't believe how much effect a sore joint can have on you when you're trying to when you want to do things. It makes it unpleasant to walk around. So it's no real excuse. I'm sure there are people that are in a lot worse shape position than I am, health and whatnot. But it's a, another one of those reminders. You better get out and do things while you've got your health because once you lose your health and get older it's not coming back and each of us has to deal with it based on our own circumstances so I'll keep trying to get an appointment see a doctor next week see if I can expedite the recovery of my joint I don't think it's anything serious. But I think it just needs something that professional medical care can take care of better than over-the-counter drugs can. I think that's going to be it for today.